Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if no mapping has been done between account names and security IDs was done. Error message you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, you come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So double click on that. Same thing with Microsoft. So go ahead and double click on the Microsoft folder. And now go down to Windows NT. And you want to go ahead and double click on that. Same thing with current version. Double click on that one as well. And now you want to locate the win logon folder. So again, win logon. Double click on it. And if you need to take note of our file paths up at the top of the screen here, each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. So if you want to pause the video once we get to the end here, you can. But anyway, underneath win logon, you want to double click on GP extensions and double click on it. And then finally, you're going to be looking for a value in here that has the quotation sign 827. That's what it's going to start with. So you see it's pretty close to the top here. 827D319E, and then it's more characters and letters after that. But anyway, on the right side here, I'm actually going to double click in between the columns to make it a little bit wider so you can see the whole D word value name. You want to locate extension debug level and double click on it. Set the value data to zero, as you see on my screen, so the numerical value of zero, and then select OK. And then once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and actually close out of the registry editor. And I would suggest restarting your computer, because that's the only way that the changes will take effect, is if you go ahead and restart your device. And hopefully I should have been able to resolve your problem at this time. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.